Hello everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about copyright. Um, copyright is basically the protections that are given to creators of original work so that their materials, their work cannot be stolen. Um, and so we want to make sure that we're adhering to this in our district and the reason it's in a tech tip is because a lot of times we have issues with it with our digital media and tech tools. So um, we want to think about copyright and how we're using that and some of this information will kind of help. If all else fails and you're unsure if it's going to break copyright laws or not, then you want to just kind of fall back on this rule. So if you didn't make it yourself, you're probably violating copyright laws if you distribute it. So that's kind of the fallback. Now we have some workarounds. Some of you are probably asking about what about fair use. So fair use is basically that there are certain instances where you can use work um, and it's okay. Um, but you want to think about these three things. So first off, what is the nature of the work? Things that are more creative, um, books, songs, films, they're less likely to fit under fair use. They're probably not as easy to um, be able to be used. Um, however, things that are more uh, nonfiction um, or unpublished might fit under that fair use that it's okay to use. Um, other things that you want to think about, the portion of the work that you're using. So how much of that work are you going to use? If it's something like a song, 15 seconds, 15 seconds of a song or a single page from a book are both examples of things that would probably fit under fair use. Um, other things, is it going to affect the market if you use it? So is that seller going to miss out on sales because you're distributing it? So an example would be if you distributed a copyrighted song to all your students, this likely fits under um, a copyright violation. So you wanna make sure that you're being aware of that as we distribute things, as we send things out whether it's in a flyer, a video, uh, um, a slideshow, whatever it might be, we wanna make sure that we're following copyright laws. The next thing to think about is there are places where you can, and ways that you can get material to use um, that you did not create. Um, and these are often called the Creative Commons um, license work. Um, there are a few ways that you can get to those. So a quick way, most people are going to use pictures that are referenced um, as digital resources they're going to use. So if you go to a Google browser and a, you search, um, when you bring up, you've got images as an option here. So we'll look at copyrighted images. Now, these are just showing all images that relate with copyright. If I click on tools, I now have some more options that are available and I can look at usage rights. And now this is gonna give filter out some of these results so that where I make sure that they're meeting my copyright uh, needs and, and are covered by Creative Commons. So if I go down to uh, labeled for non-commercial reuse with modification, um, these are all things that would be okay for me to use um, in an education setting. Um, if I'm planning on selling something, then I'll likely want to um, go down and choose one that, that fits with that. And you can go into more tools and under the settings you can find more about this. Um, some other things that you can look at to find out if you're compliant with uh, copyright is to go to some of these helpful links and just check it out, see what the resources are, um, allow you to search for some different places. Um, there are a lot of websites online that you can go and get free images. Um, you just wanna make sure that you have the, the rights to use them. And always give credit, so just like I have with this image, I've shown where it's from, even though I have Creative Commons to use this, this is going to um, also give credit and say, hey, this is where it was found from. So. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Aaron underscore Tommen at SumnerSD.org.